This is an example of the Paragonex being used to emulate two 1588 masters, both connected to the same real slave device as shown in the application diagram on the screen. Now what I'm going to do is to change the characteristics of one of the masters to show that the slave best master clock selection process is working correctly. This is a key test for slave devices. So if we look at the connection diagram at the moment, the master details, you'll see that event messages are being exchanged between the real slave and emulated master number one. And you'll see that no messages are being exchanged with, no event messages are being exchanged with emulated master number two. So if we look at the master details, then you'll see the reason for that is that master one is configured with a clock class value of 70 and master 2 is configured with a clock class value of 80 and lower clock class values mean a higher uh, clock quality therefore the slave has correctly chosen master number 1. Now, in order to check the functionality of the slave properly let me go to master number 1 and change it instead of 70 to a value of 90. I'll apply the change. The change is applied immediately the display lags slightly on the connected masters, but you'll see that there are now no messages being exchanged with master number one, whereas all the messages are being exchanged with master number two. Therefore, the slave has correctly chosen master number two as the best master in this situation. This shows that the slave is functioning correctly on best master selection, and also shows how easy it is to change emulated master characteristics on the Calnex Paragon X.